Black smoke on the horizon heralded the approach of the Soviets. The war was slowly grinding to a halt, but the end would not come quickly enough to spare the townsfolk from the wrath of the Red Army. The streets of Sweet were now filled with people in panic. German high command had instructed Captain Staupe to make a strategic withdrawal from Schwedt, but the town wouldn't let their defenders leave so easily. Stampa was well aware what this meant. Even if he did manage to push the Soviets back and save the town, his superiors would brand him a traitor and seek his immediate arrest. But that would have to wait for now. The defense of the town was his immediate priority. He would have to save worrying about saving his men and himself for later. Captain Stampa had sworn to protect the town from the Soviets at any cost. new threat had appeared, with enemies approaching from the north. Forces had been spotted near the lake. in his men was clear to see. The building had been saved. The town was being attacked from a new direction. Captain Stapa ordered his tanks forward to meet this latest threat. Enemy reinforcements appeared in the south. were advancing from the south.
Reinforcements had arrived, just when it looked like the battle had been lost. With the enemy attacking from every direction, the situation looked dire for the defenders. Stopa had realized the enemy was going to try outflanking them. Stalpa and his men had defended the town, but his defiance meant he could never fight alongside his unit again. over. The Allies had won, but not with the sudden and expected capitulation of the Axis. Instead, the end had dragged on for far too long. The post-war victory reveille was now being subdued by the stark realization of how much had been lost on both sides. This had been a conflict which had made casualties of everyone. Yet there were still a few who could afford to enjoy their hard-earned spoils those who had seen an opportunity in the chaos that reigned around them and grabbed at it with both hands. Some would label it profiteering. They, however, would call it entrepreneurial. Captain Karl Stoppe was still a hunted man, but chose to hide in plain sight. The money he accrued afforded him a comfortable lifestyle, but his funds were starting to run dry. He was forced to look for more work and now risked everything by searching for it. The world was about to plunge into another conflict it wasn't ready for, an era that would reward those willing to be paid 